in our class, what we're going to be creating a document that all of our artifacts for the, for the college application portfolio project part one. First thing that I did is I opened up Microsoft Word and I'm going to put the date. Then I'm going to put CAPP for a college application portfolio project part one. And then artifact submit document, which is the title of my document, all there. Now all the words that you see right here, like positive self conflict or concept, realistic self appraisal, all of these things are things that I typed directly from that paper that you have in front of you. I'm going to require that you do the same thing. So by the end of the class period today and tomorrow, you will have one artifact per um, soft skill. So when it says positive self concept, it says give examples of how you demonstrate confidence, strength of character, determination, and independence. So a way that I, um, a way that I have shown determination is by working towards my doctoral degree. So I need to think of some piece of evidence. My evidence I'm going to put, if I don't have it, I'm changing the color. I'm going to put a bullet point so I know what I'm going to be looking for today. And when I get home tonight, I'm going to be looking for my acceptance letter to U of H because that shows my determination. I take my classes at night and I won't be graduating until 20, um, 2016. For realistic self-appraisal, it says give examples of how you recognize and accept your strengths and deficiencies, especially academic, and I work hard at self-development. So my example for doing that is my calendar because I one of my strengths is that I'm super organized. So you might use something like your agenda, but I'm just going to be using my calendar. So you guys know how that works. I'm going to use my snipping tool. Hold on one second. And I am going to go ahead and copy that. So I'm using the whole entire thing. And you know how to use the snipping tool. If you don't, you can just email that out to me. I've got that picture there. I'm going to go back to my document. And I'm going to just input it right there, control V, since I already had it on my clipboard. It shows up there. I've got my example. My artifact is set. So I can move on to the next one. Give examples of how you exhibit a realistic view of the system based upon a personal experience of racism. Examples of you committed to improving the existing system and examples of how you are able to handle racist handle a racist system and make the system work for you. So I am white, so my example is going to be a little bit different than what yours might be, but I wrote a, I wrote a paper and this paper was about um, the differences between white and minority teachers who teach minority students. And what I'm going to do is get a copy of that paper on the differences between white minority teachers who teach minority students. I'll probably look for a paper copy. I'll take a picture of it with my phone and then I'll email that picture to my to myself so that tomorrow in class I can put that paper there. For leadership, it says give examples of, of you demonstrating strong leadership in any area or background of your background. So I am a course leader, and that means I am in charge of a bunch of different teachers around Yes Prep for seminar. So what I would do is I would look for an email of my um, acceptance letter for being course leader. Or I would get an email where my my supervisor said I did something great. So let me just, I'll actually just show you what that looks like. So I'd go to my email. I know where I keep it. And I apologize for how slow my computer is. We can come back to this later if it doesn't load. And this one is from a teacher or a, a someone named Dea Cozzolino, and Dea was the person who helped me um, or who got me to do a professional development for a group of teachers. So I'm just going to copy this email where it just talks about how pretty much how great I am, which I appreciate, and I'm just going to add that as my document. 
For long-range goals, it says give examples of how you're able to respond to deferred gratification, of how you plan ahead and set goals. So what I would do is I would either, um, I would either, once again, change the font because I don't have it yet. I would either get a copy of my acceptance letter or I would, for me, I have already started saving for retirement, so I would get my retirement um, account information, a picture of that, um, or I would just get, so acceptance letter, that was to U of H, because I won't be graduating until 2016, which is deferred gratification. For strong support person, it says give examples of how you seek and take advantage of a strong support network. So what I would look for is, change the font again, an email where I asked for help from a supervisor. So for me, that would be Mr. Romano, that would be um, Mrs. Killian, or that would be Mr. Kmenz, because Mr. Romano is in charge of me at school, Mrs. Killian is in charge of me as course leader, and Mr. Commence is in charge of me as, um, as a part of college initiatives. So I just look for an email there where I ask for help. For community, um, I already have it opened up on Facebook. That's a good place to search for pictures because you have them all there. And one of my parts of community is my soccer team. So I'm just going to take this nice funny picture. I'm just, I clicked with the right hand side of my mouse and I just copied it. Then I went back to my document and I just inputted it, input it there. So we'll wait for it to load. I could also include pictures from community service, um, pictures of me at my church, um, pictures of me with the clubs that I participate in at school. Any of those things count as examples of community. And I believe it's loaded in just a second. Yep, there it is. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger just because I can. Yay, I love oranges. And non-traditional knowledge being acquired, so examples of how you acquire knowledge outside the classroom. I wrote about how I was really interested in graffiti, so I'm going to include a link to my, and I'm also interested in art, so a link to my Ecuador, Ecuador mural with One World Classrooms. I already had that up because I was ready for it. I open it up. I'm going to just copy this link. Control C to copy. I go back to my document and put that link there. Also, in my Namibia mural. I'm going to go back to the internet. I'm going to copy this link. Control C. I've got both links there. So what I would do at this point is I would save my document to the desktop because class is over for today most likely. And I'm just going to hit File, Save As. I'm going to save it to my desktop. So I have to browse because I've got to find it. It'll take me just a second because my computer is slow. I'm going to go ahead and up to the top and I'm going to click desktop. When I save this document, I'm going to save it as Straub Sarah dot so that's my last name dot my first name, name dot C A P P for co college application portfolio project dot part one dot artifacts dot twenty seventeen because that is my year. I'm going to hit save. I'm just going to replace it because I already had one. The document saved and I'm going to go home for today. When I go home for today, I'm going to write down as homework that I need to find the following documents. I'm either going to take pictures of them or, um, or bring them in tomorrow so that Ms. Job can take a picture of it for me. So I'm bringing all of that in. I'm looking through it. I'm writing it down. And then, um, and then I'm done for the day. Let's go ahead and fast forward to tomorrow. I'm going to assume that I have everything set and I'm ready to submit my document. 
So I'm going to log into my email, which is going to be, let's just go ahead and pretend. Um, it's either a Gmail or a Yahoo, but you're either going to be able to compose. We're going to hit a button called New Mail. When I hit New Mail, it's going to pop up, hopefully. I just need And I'm going to type the email to the teacher, sarah.straub at yespret.org, S-A-R-A-H dot S-T-R-A-U-B at yesprep.org. And the message is going to have be very clear. It's going to be my last name, dot my first name, dot C-A-P-P, dot part one, dot artifacts, dot 2017. I'm going to attach a file. so. Just look around on your computer screen, you're looking for a paperclip. I'm going to take it from the desktop. And then I'm going to write a message. Hey, miss. Enjoy the artifacts. Thank you. And then your name. Once that message is there, check to make sure that it's the correct email address, that it's spelled correctly. Check to make sure you've included a subject heading. Check to make sure you've attached the document and that you've written a letter to me. When you're done, you click send. It's all there and you are done.